Thankfully, it's November, and Appalachian Wireless is offering the Samsung GS8 or the GS8 Plus for $100 off the regular price with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. A male student at Johnson Central High School is being treated for a stab wound he suffered at school, allegedly at the hands of another student. Officials said the two got into an altercation Friday, and one of the boys pulled a pocket knife and stabbed the other in the abdomen. We were able to get uh, uh, medical care, EMS arrived on the scene, and uh, they responded. The student was conscious throughout. Uh, he had um, uh, was very aware and spoke to us throughout the, the whole time. EMS got to him quickly and uh, got him medical care, transported him to the local hospital. Uh, authorities also arrived at the same time, came down and helped uh, our, our school personnel, administrators, can't say enough about them. They very quickly secured the situation. No other students were injured. The alleged victim was taken to Paul B. Hall Regional Medical Center before being flown out to another hospital. His condition was not readily available. Johnson Central Principal Noel Crum said the incident occurred during lunch and the alleged victim's fellow students came to his aid. A couple students immediately um, helped the student up to the office to get help. Uh, like I said, we contacted um, you know, EMS almost instantaneously and uh, uh, they arrived quickly, but those students were so quick uh, to, to help the student respond, uh, be calm. The rest of the student body were, were just outstanding, really. Superintendent Tom Cochran said the situation is unfortunate and occurred prior to the school's Veterans Day celebration. He added, however, that Johnson County schools are safe. He also said the district was already looking at improving security even before Friday's stabbing occurred. Before this happened, we want to start. We're starting conversations with our Board of Education and with our uh, County Sheriff's Department and City Police Department. And we would like to figure out a way to have a safety resource officer stationed within our school. And so we're in preliminary stages of that, but that's something we want to uh, look into. Painesville Police said there's no indication the two students were fighting prior to the stabbing, but Information Officer Keith Maynard said bullying may have factored into the situation. The student who allegedly carried out the stabbing was taken to Boyd County Juvenile Detention Center and is facing a felony charge of first-degree assault. The investigation into the stabbing is ongoing. In Paintsville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.